Today we will discuss the characteristics of mandibular central incisors and mandibular lateral incisors. The script will be in the description box below. We will begin with the mandibular central incisors. The universal number for the adult left central incisor is number 24. The adult right central incisor is number 25. The FDI number for the adult left central incisor is 3-1, which is basically quadrant 3, tooth number 1. The right central incisor is 4-1, which is quadrant 4, tooth number 1. The Palmer notation for the adult left central incisor is 1 on the lower left quadrant, and the right central incisor is 1 on the lower right quadrant. Each mandibular central incisor has one root. Each tooth has a total of four lobes, one mesial lobe, one middle lobe, and one distal lobe, which make up the facial lobes of the tooth. The lingual lobe happens to be a singular. After the adult teeth erupt, manolines are visible. They are formed from the three facial lobes of the tooth and should eventually wear off from contact with the opposing tooth. <laughs> the proximal contacts for the mesial and the distal sides of the tooth are located at the incisal one-third. The height of contour labiolingually of the tooth is at the cervical third because of the cingulum. These characteristics help direct food off of the teeth and onto the gingiva at a safe and correct angle. The mandibular centrals have an incisal edge that makes it similar to scissors and it is also shovel shaped. These characteristics help slice and shovel food. The mandibular centrals also aid in speech and support the lower lip. They also help guide the mandible during movement. The permanent mandibular centrals begin to calcify at three to four months. The adult mandibular centrals are the first to erupt at six to seven years. Root completion for these teeth occur at nine years of age for the adult dentition. The mandibular central incisors are symmetrical, which makes it hard to distinguish the left from the right. The roots appear longer than the crown. The mesial and distal root depressions are prominent. They also happen to be the smallest teeth in the mouth. Now we will discuss the characteristics of the mandibular lateral incisors. The universal number for the adult mandibular left lateral incisor is number 23, and the right lateral incisor is number 26. The FDI number for the adult lateral left incisor is 32, which is quadrant 3, tooth number 2. The right lateral incisor is 42, which is quadrant 4 tooth number two. The Palmer notation for the adult left mandibular lateral incisor is two, and the right lateral is also two. Each mandibular lateral incisor has only one root. Each tooth has a total of four lobes, one mesial lobe, one middle lobe, and one distal lobe, which make up the facial lobes of the tooth. The lingual lobe happens to be a cingulum. After the adult teeth erupt, mammalons are visible. They are formed from the three facial lobes of the tooth and should eventually wear off from the contact with the opposing tooth. The proximal contact of the mesial surface is located at the incisal one-third, and the distal surface is located in between the incisal one-third and the middle one-third. The height of contour labiolingually is at the cervical third because of the cingulum. These characteristics help direct food off of the teeth and onto the gingiva at a safe and correct angle. The mandibular laterals 
have an incisal edge that makes it similar to scissors, and the lingual is also shovel-shaped. This characteristic helps slice and shovel the food. The mandibular laterals also aid in speech and support the lower lip. They also help guide the mandible during movement. The mandibular laterals begin to calcify four months in utero, and the adult mandibular laterals erupt at seven to eight years. Root completion for these teeth occur at nine to 10 years of age for the adult dentition. As you can see, the cingulum of the mandibular laterals is more prominent than the centrals and is more distal to the mid-root axis than the mandibular centrals. The laterals look very similar to the central incisors, but the laterals are a little bigger. From the mesial view, the laterals have a distolingual corner of the incisal edge showing lingually due to the distolingual twist and the cingulum twists distally. The distal incisal edge of the lateral is more rounded than the mesio incisal edge. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to brush and subscribe to our channel. <laughs>